Entertainment report for TV6 News on a Friday night. Trailer Park for TV6, a half hour show weekly. Well, I spent 24 years at the Express. After I left, they said they wanted to start, besides the Express, they wanted to develop that whole digital, digital um, readership. So they said, well, come up with an idea and um, you could produce it and send it to us. So we came up with OMG as a newspaper for the I think it's the Saturday paper. We did we did that for about eight months, printing eighty thousand a week, and it became really expensive. And um, so we said, well, let's continue it as a digital publication, and we did. So that's how it started. And um, I think it's evolving um, every week. In fact, one of the first magazines I did was in nineteen eighty nine. That was um, I was called the, the shop magazine. And um, it was it was geared for the same thing that you're doing. We were all young at the time. Everybody was excited, and we decided, oh, let's make this magazine. So even back then, I always loved doing magazine. And the same thing that is happening now, 25 years, about 25 years later, people seem to be interested in local design. And I think, um, especially in fashion, I think the major thing is developing your ability to deliver a good product so it's stitched well that basic thing about it being stitched well and constructed well if you could do that then people who buy your clothes would not feel that they they stepping down if they if we get over that hurdle of, of producing a really well tailored product i think um, everything will be open to them and then the major problem that we have in Trinidad is the production. So that you can't do a design and say you're taking it to a production house and getting 100 me. Um, one of the things though is that we could also use that disadvantage as a niche because then you become, you have this limited design. You do 10 of something mm -hmm. and you know that people wouldn't see it everywhere. And that becomes the strength of the local fashion industry. I think we could look at it that way. The great thing is that people seem to be interested in, in local fashion designs again. And I think the major thing that has stopped us is not being able to produce at a quality and a price that we could compete internationally with. And I think the only solution really is that we do unique, exclusive, um, smaller, and, um, and deliver that to the world. I, I noticed CLD. Mm -hmm. I thought her clothes looked like it was stitched really well. That's all I look for. Yeah. Is it stitched well and will people be comfortable with it? So I, I looked at her clothes and I said, hey, that looks interesting. I think Ryan Chan also, I we've been looking at his stuff and it looks pretty good. Um, those are the clothes that we, I noticed so far. I think the major thing is trying to de decide who your target market is. I think deciding on your target market, deciding who that young people, ladies over 40, and I think it's a personal relationship with the clientele. Mm -hmm. I think Claudia Pigas does that really well. She's had those clients ever since, and she's grown up with them. And she's raised her price <laughs> with them as, uh, as they've all grown together. And uh, she has really defined her clientele, and, and, being, and she's been part of their life ever since, so that they know when they're going to Claudia, what they're going for. Basically, the premise of the magazine is to just promote what people are doing now. That's the intention of the magazine. Our email address is info at omgtt.com. If anything that people are doing and you want to promote them, uh, get it out there. Uh, we're up to 45,000 fans now on Facebook. And uh, we think it's a nice way to, if you don't have those fans at least, they could come in the magazine and they could see you and like back to you. I think it's a good, good option. 